Hi, this will be a short video on uh, how to convert your sketch drawings into HTML and CSS. So I have a, a simple drawing here that maybe you, it could be a login screen for a fictitious app, right? Maybe it'll be designed for mobile, right? And, uh, you know, it has a few features. It has a logo here and the title at the top and then uh, kind of a label here to say what we're doing. We're logging in, right? And then there's two input fields for email and password, and then there's a submit and a sign up link, okay? Or a button, right? Um, and the first thing we need to do is we need to look at this and we need to kind of um, imagine how these elements would translate into HTML and CSS, okay? So the best way to think about that is to consider each of the elements as a box because everything in HTML um, essentially becomes a rectangle on the screen in some way and then you can size that rectangle and position it or you can let the computer position it but everything really kind of is a box okay so I have a layer here that I'm gonna reveal and what I've done is I've drawn some boxes in here to kind of outline where these things are so this guy up here maybe he could be a um, like this thing up at the top here is inside of a rectangle and that's on top of a rectangle here that might contain the logo. And then there's a rectangle here for the login label. And then a rectangle here for the email and the password. And then there's one each for the submit and the sign up. Okay. So now that we've got those, now we can like mock these up in HTML. Okay. So I'll do that really quick here. Um, and uh, I've left out the the main part of the HTML page. We can add that in later, but essentially what we'll need is we'll probably need a um, form, right? So every form that you use in HTML, and forms are collection of input elements that submit data to a server, and that's really what we're, we're creating here is a form that has an input, you know, a password, uh, you know, for inputs for email and password, and then a button, right? Okay, so we'll put the form tag here. So all the form elements go inside the form tag. And then now we need an input for the email and an input for the password. And then we'll need a button for the submit button, right? So that's kind of what we have. And then maybe above the form. So imagine like the form here is, let's say it's the... Um, let me hide this for a moment there, right? Let me hide this guy too. Why do I have all these windows open? There it is. Okay, so so let's imagine that um, that that part that I just drew right there is this. You know, these three things right here are the email, the password, and the submit button. So we might also need a sign up button, right? And that could go inside the form, but really it's it doesn't, like when we tap this, it won't really collect the date the details here. It might though, you know. Um, yeah, actually, you know, it might. Maybe we want to carry this information over to the sign-up form. So if you typed your email in here, maybe we could populate that into the sign-up, right? So maybe we'll do this. <clears throat> we'll put a, a, um, a, a link down here. Right, and this will be sign up. I made that uppercase so we'll match it. So we've got those. Okay, so we've got this guy, this guy, and that guy, and this one, right? Let's fix these inputs, right? So this is going to be an email. So what we'll do is we'll set the type here to email, and this one is going to be um, type password. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Now, one thing to note, input elements and buttons and anchor tags are all inline elements. So these will all um, line up like words on a page. So they'll start on the left side and they'll wor work their way to the right and then they wrap on to the next line. So we really want these to display as boxes, right? So we want them to be like the boxes that we drew here. And there's a couple ways we can work with this. Um, you know, we could declare it in our CSS that inputs are going to display as a block, or we could wrap them in a block tag. And I'm going to take the second 
tactic because it'll give us more um, options. So I'll just say, I'll put a div here and then I'll surround the input tag with this div, right? And then I'll do the same thing here and I'll surround the password with a div and then I'll put a div around the button like this, right? And then maybe I'll put one around this anchor tag also. So uh, let's add one more there. Now I'm leaving a few things out, right? But we're just going to get our design working and then we can add the details in later, right? Okay, so this kind of mocks up the bottom portion of our form. And we might even want to wrap all this in a sort of a container or something to hold on to it, right? So maybe we'll put a div around the form. And there we go, right? So now we've got our, we've got the bottom half of our form figured out, right? So this is, this is all of this stuff here. We don't have the login yet. We'll have to add that, right? And then we need the title and this logo, okay? So why don't we add those things next? Maybe we'll go up here and then we'll put our title in. And the title could be anything. I, I called my app orange, so I'll just put it in here. And we could you could use a tag for this too, but um, maybe maybe it's okay just like that, right? And then now we need the logo. So I'll put the div in here. And I'm gonna, um, just for fun, I'm gonna build the logo like this shape as much as I can in, in, in CSS, right? So I'm actually not gonna use a picture for this at all, though you could use a picture. So really what I'm gonna do for this thing is just use the div, okay? And then now we have a title, and this title right here goes with our form. So maybe we can put the title of the form in here. Maybe we'll just put a, um, a div there and call it login, okay? Um, so there, that kind of mocks up our form in the most basic way. Um, you know, the next step here would maybe be to add some class names to these things to identify them for our style sheet. So maybe on this up here, I'll say class of title. This one, even though it's empty, we're, it's actually going to display something later, but let's call that class icon. This can be, um, class, you know, form, title, and uh, we can give the form a class too. Maybe I'll, I'll skip that just to keep things simple. And then we'll say um, div here for class for, the, for this email input. I'll say, you know, let's call this one input email. And then, uh, you know, I'll just copy that. And down here on the password, we'll say input password and we'll say input submit and maybe we'll call that one you know input sign up okay so now we've got a bunch of of class names on there and we can use these class names to target styles to these elements okay and there's a few more details we can add but maybe we'll just stop here and then that way um, you know, we could just focus on the on the styles in the next video. Okay, so thanks for watching.